In the same way you will see in instances in Mahabharata in many places, even in uh, higher, in a very high level, Prithu Maharaj was performing sacrifices. He had done 99 Ashwamedha Yajyas. As per you know, rule and law, if you do 100 Ashwamedha Yajna, you can become qualified to be Indra. So, Prithu Maharaj, who is a incarnation of the Lord, he did 99 Yajnas and Indra became very disturbed. Are in the earth, Prithu is doing, if he does one more Yajna, he will become qualified to take me over and he is very powerful and he throw me out and he will become Indra. I must stop. So, he came as a sannyasi, dressed in saffron cloth and he came and took away the horse, the hundred horse and ran away. So desperate he was. And then Prithu, he saw that Indra is doing this and he is coming dressed as a sannyasi because I am a follower of these principles. I am not able to do anything to a sannyasi who is doing this. He made it very complex, Indra. He put this element of sannyasi inside. Dressed as a sannyasi came and did this. So, Prithu Maharaj's son, he did not bother. He tried to go on this thing and fight with the... So, Prithu told his son also, no, 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 he cannot. But this is not sannyasi, this is Indra. So, but he is dressed as a sannyasi, therefore you must not. And the issue became so big, it is a universal issue. And the Lord Himself came to solve the problem. He came and told Prithu, Why you want to do 100 Yajnas? You are already so powerful. Why don't you just don't do it? You will see, he will be happy, he will go back. He has got a lot of responsibilities. Let him go back. And immediately Prithu said, So be it. I will do only 99. I will not do 100. So that he is never threatened. Immediately he said, okay. Great behavior. Very wonderful response. It's like running the race. And somebody is behind you. And you are told, don't let him finish first. You don't finish. Your Olympics, you are running. And you are told, right near the finish line, you are told, no, 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 you don't finish first, let him finish first. And you are saying, okay, okay, you go. You could have told me this before, I have not run, I run the race at all. Why did you not tell me this before? No, no, it's okay, because you say so. And because it will bring priests to society. Because he will not be agitated. <coughs> I make that sacrifice. When you are in a society, when you are in a family, sometimes you have to make sacrifice. This is because of personalism being at a high level, you are able to do that sacrifice. But if you are very much stuck to impersonal thinking, your choice will always be, What's my profit? What's in it for me? And therefore, there will be no solution to problems. Humaneness, personality, personhood, womanhood, manhood, childhood, all these things should not be sacrificed for profit. So, our personalities coming to the fore, seeing another person as a person, putting ourselves in his shoes is called empathy. I feel for him. I feel his situation. Even though it is a material situation, I feel that he is suffering in that situation. I like to give him some relief. People start helping each other if they are more personal. But people become very callous towards each other when you look at them only as a commodity. The more you look at them materially, you become very callous. So nowadays in human society, People have become increasingly materialistic and more callous, crude, cruel and sometimes they resort to any type of thinking. We should go back and seriously think about this. I am a person and relate with each other, not deal with each other. When we look at people as material commodities, we start dealing with each other, wheeling and dealing. What can I get from you? What can you get from me? But when you see ourselves as persons, they say, no, whether you want to do something for me or not, irrespective, as a person, I am obliged to do this for you. As a human being, I see something, I am obliged to do this for you. When people think like that, civilization is different. People feel, will, think as persons and they feel empathy 
then life becomes very rich high values krishna is encouraging in bhagavad gita that you live life like that by establishing a relationship with me man mana bhava mat bhakta hai madhya ji maam namaskuru this is a very subtle point when you start establishing relations you see everybody equally you see everybody as persons you see everybody as spirit soul pandita samadarshana hai samadarshana seeing everybody equal means is not an ordinary thing just making people equal it's not that you can make people equal people are definitely born different it's not your business to make it equal you can however see everybody equal as human beings as personalities as spirit souls and you can do your best that requires that you be recognizing everybody personally in a personalistic atmosphere